Regular season is over. Time for the real season to begin. Let's kick it off with style with Pete Prisco, our NFL columnist. This is Pete's Picks. I'm Lauren Shahadi. Pete, hopefully you're going to do better than last week. A little trip up last week. No problem. Yeah, it wasn't very good, and I'm not sure um, you know, what the reason was, but I think I have an idea. I couldn't figure out who was playing and who wasn't. When you pick the picks on Tuesday, it's hard to, hard to figure out who's playing. I hear you. Now you're refreshed. You're ready to go. But before we get to your picks, three out of your four games are matchups from Week 17. I know you've studied film. What do you have this time around? You excited about it? Yeah, I am. And when you, know, when you look at these games uh, – this weekend, I think there's a lot of even matchups, and you could tell by looking at the spreads. I mean, you know, these games are tight for first week games uh, in the postseason. I think that's a very good thing for the NFL. All right, let's kick it off with the NFC East. NFC East was won last week by the Cowboys sweeping up the Eagles. Will they do that again this time around? I think the Cowboys are the best team in the NFC right now. I mean, they're they're clicking on all cylinders. You have a quarterback who's got a hot hand. You have a running game with Barber, Mr. Power, uh, with Felix Jones, uh, the speed guy on the outside. And he really adds another dimension. They have so many weapons with with Witten and Austin and Bennett's back now. A uh, big physical on the offensive line. I think they're very good on offense, but they're even better on defense. What Wade Phillips has done with that defense is incredible. Back to back shutouts. Uh, 250 points on the season, best in the NFC. I think they shut down the Eagles again. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tougher game this time around, but in the end, I think the Cowboys will find a way to cover that number. All right, from the Cowboys who blanked the Eagles to the Bengals who got blanked by the Jets. What happens this weekend? Well, you know, you got to throw that game out the window. And I hear a lot of people piling on the Bengals for what they did last week, and maybe they're not as good as they thought they were. Well, two week, three weeks ago, they went to San Diego and probably should have beat the Chargers, who everybody's pegging as the best team in the AFC. So you got to throw last week out. Uh, I don't think the Jets will run the ball as well as they did a week ago. I think Carson Palmer will outduel Mark Sanchez, which I think is a mismatch in favor of the Bengals. I think Cincinnati bounces back and handles the Jets this week in a game that actually matters. I've just loved watching Darrell Revis play. It's like no matter who he tries to contain, he definitely stops him. It's fun to watch him. Hey, Pete, Baltimore coming off a win, New England coming off a loss. Who gets the win this time? Well, I think it's going to be a tight game. Uh, you know, a field goal game at best. Uh, you know, Baltimore – to me, is a team that uh, when they get to the postseason, they play better for some reason. I think they respond to the Ray Lewis, uh, Terrell Suggs, those kind of guys. I think they respond well on defense. I think New England missing Wes Welker will hurt them. It's not a you know it's not a, a death blow, but it definitely will hurt their offense. So I think a field goal game. I think New England will find a way to win the game, but only by a field goal. I like the Ravens plus the four. Tom Brady says they are going to try to regroup without Welker. We will see how that works out. Little Pete, you have Arizona, Green Bay. Last week, Arizona took a cautious approach. Green Bay just steamrolled them. Do you think it'll happen again? Well, he got on the phone, he told me, and he talked with Ken Wisenhut, and, and they didn't put too much into last week's game. This week, they'll put a lot into it. Obviously, their season's on the line. Now, Anquan Bolden, game-time decision, that is uh, something you got to keep a close eye on. But I still think, and he still thinks, that Kurt Warner will outduel Aaron Rodgers in what could be a very good football game, very high scoring, but he said he likes the Arizona Cardinals. Kurt Warner only played a quarter. We'll see how he fares against Aaron Rodgers for the full game. Miami fast approaching the Super Bowl. Who do you have? You just want to be in warm weather, Pete. Yeah, he's not making a Super Bowl pick. He didn't earn that right this year, but I will. Uh, I like the Dallas Cowboys. I, I think the Dallas Cowboys will represent the NFC. I think they'll win this week against Philly. I think they can go to Minnesota or New Orleans, wherever they have to go, and they can win those games. And, and, and I really do believe the Cowboys are the best team in the NFC right now, and they will play in the Super Bowl. In the AFC, people are you know, going to sleep on the Indianapolis Colts. What happened in the last couple of weeks doesn't matter. It didn't matter. They said it all along. They might do that, and they did it. It was the right thing to do. All you got to do is look at uh, Wes Welker, and you'll understand why the Colts did what they had to do. They'll get it turned on in the playoffs. I still think they find a way to play the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl will be here before you know it. Super Bowl airs on CBS. For Pete Frisco, I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll talk to you soon.